Rex Hamilton here at the Hamilton Eye Institute in Beverly Hills. I'm here with Joe Jonas and Jeanette. And both of them have had the Evo ICL lens, which is an incredible option for folks that are really, really nearsighted. And I'm so happy that Jeanette's here today so we can talk about her experience with the lens. The Evo is a procedure for people that are very nearsighted. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Jeanette minds me telling you, she's like minus 11, minus 12. Yes. Which is getting up there. Mm -hmm. Sort of average is around minus four to give you some idea. So Jeanette, what, what made you decide that last year was the time to do something about your vision? Um, I was tired of having glasses that were so thick and also the vision, like my peripheral vision was so blurry that I was like, no, I need to get my eyes done. Right, and so you weren't really comfortable in contact lenses. No. Right, and see, that's the problem when you're that near side of the glasses are just terrible. Why don't mm -hmm. we step into my office so we can talk a little more here? Of course. So Jeanette, one of the biggest issues for me as a surgeon with the Evo is people don't know what it is. Had you heard anything about it at all? No, <clears throat> I actually hadn't. Because I know about the smile, LASIK, the other procedures, right. but I knew they weren't recommended for me because I had such a high prescription. So right. I didn't learn about it till I went to uh, another consultation okay. with a doctor who recommended you. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, so people know about LASIK, they know about smile. Those are all procedures that are done on the cornea, mm -hmm. which is the window on the front. And the way those procedures work is we're removing tissue. We're kind of flattening the curvature by removing tissue. Well, if we have to do a minus 12, not enough real estate there. We don't have enough tissue to work with. So that's when the Evo comes in and we're actually putting the lens inside the eye. We're not doing any reshaping or removing any tissue from the cornea when we use the Evo lens. It's a big distinction and, and it's not something that is as well known in the US. However, I did my first ICL surgeries 20 years ago. So it's actually a procedure that's been around for many years. Uh, let's talk about the day of the procedure itself and kind of how that went for you. Okay, uh, well, first of all, I was really excited because um, I, I couldn't As fathom- you should be. I couldn't fathom the idea of not having like my thick glasses I had for so long. Right. And then I came in, you guys greeted me so kindly <laughs> and I was a little nervous, but after the anesthesiologist and you guys explained the procedure again for me, I was calmed down. And then I also met some of the other guests waiting to get procedures done and they were really kind too. So you mentioned anesthesia and actually we've started doing the Evo procedure with using just oral sedation where we use Xanax to relax patients. And it's really nice because the, the Xanax onset is very quick and it also goes away quickly after the procedure. So, you know, patients feel great the rest of the day. There's not a prolonged period of sort of recovery time and, and all that from the anesthesia. So we really like that now. Why don't we talk about the, the procedure itself and kind of how you felt during the procedure, do you remember? I remember there was no pain involved, like during the procedure, afterwards. Once I had my eyes open, you guys put in some like liquid in there, it was very cooling. I didn't feel any pain and the procedure was very quick. So when I came out of the procedure, even though I couldn't see 120, 20%, I could see a big difference already. Right, in fact, one thing I do that's really fun is right afterwards I'll take the patient's glasses and put them on and they're like, whoa, we did something. It's mm -hmm. totally not, they don't work anymore. So the procedure is pretty fast. It really takes only about five minutes per eye to actually insert the lens. We're making a very small incision in the cornea. The lens goes in folded, unfolds inside the eye. I put it in the right position and then we move to the second eye. So it is really quick. The other really great thing is, as you pointed out, you're seeing out of the eye immediately. It's mm -hmm. not like we're patching the eyes shut or anything like that. So let's talk about the, the recovery, like the next day, what was the vision like? I, I could already see much better. The only thing I had was my eyes were a little dry, but you guys provided the eye drops. So I just put those on and I, it was fine. I could go out and do my day-to-day -day things. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, did you did you go back to work or, or did you take the day off or how quickly did you go back to you know your, your job? I took one day off. Okay. Um, but then after that I went back to work and it was fine, I could see everything. And it was such a big contrast to not see the glasses frame on my vision. Right. Um, and everything was just so clear. So it was a very fast recovery. What's really cool at your level is, you mentioned the glasses. Well, those glasses, not only are they thick, but they actually make the world smaller. There's a, sort of a minification effect from that kind of a prescription. So when you're walking around, you're looking at the world smaller than it really is. Mm -hmm. 
when we put the Evo inside, that goes away. So now you're like seeing full size. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of folks will talk about, I'm seeing better than I did with my glasses. Is that something that you kind of noticed? Definitely, yes. Uh, because the glasses, they only let me focus like on the very center of my vision. But with this kind of right. procedure, since it's on my whole lens, I can see clearly like in every single direction. So that's a big improvement. You just brought up another great point and that is something called astigmatism, which mm -hmm. you actually had a fair amount of. Yes, I did. Astigmatism means that the shape of the front of the eye is more like a football than a basketball. The great thing about the Evo is we fix that as well. So the, the astigmatism correction is built into the lens. It's been a year now. Mm -hmm. Talk about just kind of your life and like how, how it's, you know, how it's affected your life. Oh, wow. Things. I mean, it's changed everything. Just simple things like waking up. I don't have to like look for my glasses blindly. If I get a smudge on the glasses, that was also really bothersome. Right. Um, I can do sports now, like uh, more activities physically that I was worried about the glasses before. Like I can run without them bouncing on my face. Oh, yeah. I mean, sports and stuff, I mean, with that level of prescription. Even swimming, I can like, I don't need the, like I can see with goggles now. I don't need like prescription goggles, which is like another added expense. <laughs> Great, well, Jeanette, thanks so much for coming in and, and sharing your experience. Of and course. I really wanna see you guys out there that are really nearsighted. Maybe you've been told you're not a candidate for LASIK, that's pretty common. Also folks that have some irregularity to the front of their cornea. Maybe you're minus three, minus four, but you've been told you're not a candidate for LASIK because your cornea is too thin or you have some maybe irregular shape. The Evo is a great option for that as well. So we look forward to seeing you here at the Hamilton Eye Institute.